Hey everyone, Scott here to discuss Three Kings, starring George Clooney, Mark Wahlberg, Ice Cube, Spike Jones, Cliff Curtis, Nora Dunn, and Jamie Kennedy, directed by David O. Russell. Now, I don't have any backstory for this movie, except this is a biopic of what we see in Iraq back in 1991 in the Gulf War. Let's get into the movie and... This is a biopic of the end of the Gulf War in 1991, where we see Troy Barlow, played by Mark Wahlberg, shooting down an enemy, and we move on to the soldiers celebrating the end of the war with music while we learn about Troy as he's a new father, as well as Conrad Vig, played by Spike Jones, who's old Troy wannabe, Archie Gates, played by George Clooney, as he's retiring from being a major in a couple of weeks, as he fucks a news member named Kathy, I don't know if I'm going to say this right, Deitch, played by Judy Greer in her early days, and a five-time Emmy runner-up from reporting the news named Adriana Cruz, played by Nora Dunn, who's upset along with Colonel Horn as they have a brutal conversation the next day, and last but not least, Chief Elgin, played by Ice Cube, who's an who's a four-month paid vacation from Detroit, and the commanding officer tells the soldiers to stop partying as they have to pick up prisoners the next day, and these group of soldiers are fun to watch while Troy with Conrad find a document, piece of paper up a prisoner's ass, as Vig pulls uh, it out of it, which was fucking hysterical, in my opinion, and I like and care for these soldiers, but it's not perfect like Saving Private Ryan, for sure, as the slow motion scenes were driving me crazy at times. Archie talks with a soldier, with Adriana, as she doesn't have a lead, and her character kind of annoyed me as she's very picky to the point it was bugging the shit out of me. Archie goes on a secret mission with Chief Elgin, Troy, and Conrad as we get to know these characters quite well and relate with them right off the bat as they shoot a few rounds with Archie driving and see a dead body and go behind enemy lines, starting with blowing up a cow, which was graphic for damn sure. They go to a town where they go in a building to shoot some of Saddam Hussein's soldiers, while some citizens of Iraq are safe with the Americans as the soldiers go hunting for some gold, and some enemy soldiers come up in to shoot the American soldiers as a truck comes in and the citizens of Iraq want to go with the American soldiers and the acting in these scenes are working tremendously in my opinion. Meanwhile, Adriana complains about the story and cries about the birds as she drives the military car looking thing I'll say and picks a soldier back up and the soldiers find the gold in an underground hiding spot as well as a couple of prisoners. And director David O. Russell does a great job at telling a story about the end of the Gulf War. The soldiers find the gold thanks to Chief Elgin, and they carry them out of Saddam Hussein, as Saddam Hussein's soldiers come in to attack some civilians and talk with Archie and Saddam's soldiers help by putting gold into the truck. And as it, as it succeeds, a mother who is separated from her child is shot as we get introduced to the resistance civilian Amir Abdullah, played by Cliff Curtis, as he's devastated that his wife is shot while his daughter is crying, and Archie decides to help the civilians, and Archie and Troy, as well as some enemy soldiers, shoot at each other, but luckily the soldiers we follow were either in the shot in the arm and, and hit a bulletproof vest, which was so damn intense, our soldiers take some civilians as they become wanted people, well not only the army, but the Amer enemy soldiers as well. As the enemy soldiers shoot some poisonous gas at our soldiers, and civilians as they're in the danger zone, while Troy tries to take a couple of kids, but is unfortunately captured and taken hostage, as well as the kids when they try to run away, well, when the kids ran away, which was a dumb move on their part, and some other rebels, I'm going to call them the rest of the film, 
help our soldiers out as well as the civilians as and this is getting to the point where it's going to get intense and I was on getting on scared that I thought Troy was going to die Troy calls his wife before be, getting attacked by the Iraqi soldiers and Adriana is forced to leave with the soldier she rides with named Walter Wagaman played by Jamie Kennedy and I'm thinking what the fuck is he doing in this movie as he was the only soldier I don't really care for in this movie Amir talks with the soldiers along with the town and asks Archie to get them to the Iranian border and the soldiers American soldiers will do it after they save Troy while Troy is getting tortured with electricity while bringing up Michael Jackson and why he was the black turning white and I'm going to quote a song from Michael Jackson himself it don't matter if you're black or white and the question coming from the Iraqi soldier did seem kind of seem kind of stupid of a tr question I'll say but I'll accept the movie as it is but otherwise it's a problematic line in my opinion the soldiers as well or the American soldiers let's say as well as the rebels walk to their destination which is where the rebels are are at to get a vehicle for everyone and they bring up that George H.W. Bush wants you and remember he was president at the time which was pretty corny as it was written as I couldn't say it was stupid as the Michael Jackson line earlier as this was a little dumb too the torturer talks with Troy about his wife and his newborn baby and tries to open his mouth to pour lots of something in his mouth which is realistic sure to what terrorists would do to their victims Archie and Amir go over the plan on how to get Troy out and get the rebels to the Iranian border and it begins by telling the Iraqi soldiers that Saddam Hussein is going to kill the motherfuckers out and they start attacking by putting a C4 packed football it was a toy in their territory while getting Troy out of captivity until they get attacked by an enemy helicopter and they are successful at getting Troy out of there as this piece of action is spectacular and I'm still on the edge of my seat at this point of the film Troy looks for Conrad but Conrad gets shot dead by an Iraqi soldier and he's dying and Troy gets shot as well but they put something in him by some miracle he's alive which caught me off guard but I guess but I get why because of this movie uh, the title of this movie and the fact he's on the poster too they get Troy up while having a funeral service for Conrad and they begin their adventure of bringing some rebels to the Iranian border as Amir's little girl is reunited with her father and Archie asks Walter to get him some vehicles to get the rebels to the Iranian border while they get their portion of the gold and Walter arrives with vehicles and Adriana and come in and they try and they take them to the Iranian border and are at first captured and the United States Army comes in and arrests Archie Troy Elgin Walter and Adriana and Colonel Horn get helps get the rebels out of Iraq and still arrest in discharge Archie Troy Elgin and Walter and Adriana and as they have Troy tied up and he's almost about to die but one American soldier cuts Troy loose so he can breathe again and after the rebels go free they discharge the soldiers and Adriana and Elgin quits his airport job that's what he did earlier in the film to do with what Archie does which is doing military consultant in the movies while Troy owns a carpet store with his family and the climax was pretty damn good but I wish Cur the colonel wasn't a pain in the ass at this point but that's what happens in life as a soldier I mean I'm not a soldier but it can be a pain in the ass now it's time for the rating I'll give this movie a 8.0 out of 10 I do like and care for the soldiers while we get to know them and relate with them but it's not a perfect war movie like Saving Private Ryan as the slow motion shots drove me crazy at times. But it is a well-made film. The acting in these scenes work tremendously as David O. Russell does a great job of telling the story of the end of the Gulf War as he portrays it quite well. The movie is very intense and I was scared for the characters, even Troy, as I was afraid he was going to die without seeing his newborn baby. And it is a really good solid movie as it made me care for the soldiers and it is a solid recommendation. 
So I'd like to thank you guys for joining me. And next time we'll be back with I Heart Huckabees. Boy, this will be the first one I remember seeing. But we'll talk about that next time. And until then...